Now, shifting focus to the Middle East, the United States is escalating strikes on Houthi targets in Yemen. And the latest U.S. forces hit missiles and launch positions in Houthi strongholds throughout the country. Washington said the self-defense strikes hit Houthi targets that pose serious threats to commercial shipping and naval forces in the Red Sea. Seven multi-anti-ship cruise missiles and one anti-ship ballistic missile launcher were hit. The U.S. military said it also shot down an unmanned aircraft system. Now, earlier this week, a U.S. MQ-9 Reaper drone crashed off the coast of Yemen after being struck by a missile fired by Houthi rebels. The U.S. says that 48 anti-ship ballistic missiles and two interceptions occurred in the Red Sea in just the last three months. The Iran-backed Houthis, who control much of war-torn Europe, I'm sorry, Yemen, have been targeting vital shipping lanes in the Red Sea since November. They say their campaign is in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza who have been facing an Israeli offensive since October 7th. The Houthi attacks have forced many shipping companies to change their routes to avoid the Red Sea completely. And the route normally carries about 12% of the global maritime trade. Meanwhile, at the Singapore Airshore show, Houthi attacks have spurred interest in Asian countries about systems used to shoot down anti-ship ballistic missiles. Asian members also show tremendous interest in countering small aerial threats such as drones that have been launched in concert with larger attacks in the Red Sea. The manufacturers have reportedly seen increased interest in missile defense systems since the Houthi attacks began. The Houthis claim, however, that all of their, missile, their missiles are, in fact, domestically produced. Yet the United States and its allies say that it is Iran that has been providing these weapons to the Houthis. As the world feels the shock of wars, India stands as a beacon of strength. The first post-Defense Summit 2024 will showcase cutting-edge technologies, forging partnerships between industry, academia, and research organizations. Witness the transformative story of India's defense sector. First Post Defense Summit 2024. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.